Okay, you want the settings? You want the go to settings? This is what you do. Low, 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 low. Off. 4x, 4x. Low, 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 low. Off, 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 off. Only thing you should keep on is multi-threaded rendering. Okay, well, mid, rotate, insta. This is good. Use this time to get in a good position. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to be playing off of Brim's contact here, I think. It's a good heal. Ah, uh, unwinnable. Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, close, yeah. I was going to say. It's a good chance that he's, uh, he's win, though. I always assume that someone's flanking. If there's, like, four up... And I only see two on site. I'm like, yeah, he's definitely garage. Hey, can you go help? I only have a short. Launching smoke. I think this rotation is a little bit too slow, but yeah. On save rounds, you just want to instantly rotate, instantly. And just gamble shit. The idea is like when you're saving and ecoing, you want to play like a rat and stack something. On defense you know like you could just double up c you could triple somewhere you know it doesn't really matter you don't have to play conventional like normal you shouldn't be playing the same way that you do on save as you do with guns it is like um if they walk into your stack that round's actually kind of winnable you know all right first gun round it's a good rotation but they're already inside okay if you okay I think you're holding W around corners, maybe. I gotta watch a little bit more. The idea is you want to avoid W and make sure that your crosshair placement is. It's so hard to get out of the habit of holding W while clearing angles. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's tough. It's tough. It's tricky. I'll show you like more what I mean by that in a custom after this, but... The idea is like around corners, you should never be holding W. Ever. Especially ones you haven't cleared. After you clear the angle, then you can hold W. These are good rotations, though. You actually have good rotations. Push back. Okay. The idea is, like, when you have mid-walled, you don't have to do any. You don't have to, like, you just swing. You swing your rotations. You don't have to watch mid or B or anything. Yeah. I don't know if I like playing on... Holy shit. I think they're going A. I think they're going A. Too long, A. That was a risky peek. That was a very risky peek. Could have definitely been lurking there. Good pick, good pick. Okay, rotate back. I don't think Cage is here anymore. Yeah, rotate back, rotate back. Go, go, go. Garage is probably open. You have to assume if they fall off from A, they're probably running C, right? Oh, it looks like they're reheating A. Kind of sucks because no, no, nobody on your team has comms. F slows, yeah. You slow long. Already insane. Nice shot. You, you should get inside here. Or play retake, maybe. Penny C, penny C. I, these guys are taking it hella slow. Make sure... Okay, so make sure... You see how... Look where your your kill, killjoy is, and then look at where you're at. The idea is... Oh, shit, that is not what I meant to do. The idea is... If your KJ is fighting, you need to be ready to trade her. Right? Assume she's about to die. As soon as she dies, you swing, and you get this trade kill. You're not really in a good spot to trade the skill um so just make sure that especially playing a sage you always want to be like literally up their ass you got to pretend you're role-playing human centipede and you're just literally like head deep in his ass you see yeah you're holding w a bit too much yep oh you gotta okay all right, all right okay you have res now now you bait now you bait hard they're going up short quick 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 you should run. Alright, retake. Retake. No, nah, no, nah, you fall, you fall, you fall, you fall. Fall, 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 fall. Now you fall. Alright, alright. Hey, you got the trade. Realistically, though, both of you guys fall there. But, still a good trade. It's a good trade, good trade. And you have res now. You have, you don't have wall, but you have some slows. You can follow this ult in. Ooh. You have res. Heal? Res that? Res your teammate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The back one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, you got outskilled there. So that's, not, that's unfortunate. Probably C. 
So even though they're not here, I still would have liked the wall. The idea is like you can quick rotate. What sucks here is like half your team is saving. So now you still have your res, right? Also, when you have your old bait hard, let teammates die, then trade kill, then res him. I feel like there wasn't a chance this half. I mean, it could be that you're not baiting hard enough to create those opportunities to ult, you know what I mean? This situation, you just gotta bait hard. There is way more in attack. Defense, it is a bit harder, uh, but you can put yourself in situations where you can get good reses off. So, so far, I've already seen two opportunities to use it. One was that one round. Uh, you can avoid that spam when you get spammed through CT. You can avoid that and then res your fallen uh, teammate. Feel free to give it up if you have to. I can... The reason I don't like this angle... Uh, let's go back a bit. Here. Alright, guys. Chat, tell me. Why is this angle not the best? Why? Because you can hug wall. Wall bangable? Okay, okay. Too close to the wall. Uh. Okay. All interesting takes. You're not wrong. You guys are not wrong with these. But there's something more underlying. Because where you are is exactly where they're going to look. Hey, that's what I was looking for. That's the answer I was looking for. So think about it this way. When they're coming mid, they're swinging here. They have nowhere else to look. They have nowhere else to look because this is walled, right? So this is the only spot they're going to be looking when they're coming around this angle. And you want to not play in a spot where... The immediate place they're going to look... You, you don't want to hold an angle where the first place they're going to look at is where you're at. Never. Okay? Uh, there is good... Oh, there, so don't get me wrong. There's a good angles to hold. This is just... Uh, I don't think it's one of them. You never want to play an angle where the first place they're going to look is at where you're at. Because this game is very Peeker's Advantage uh, prominent. And Peeker's Advantage is broken. So holding angles is not very good in this game comparatively to Counter-Strike. Your teammate has Spike. Nice, There's good kill. One. One on C. I'm, I'm surprised you got that. Because you were kind of holding W here a bit. So, af even after you clear this angle, now you can hold W. But the idea is like, this is a hotspot angle, right? There's some angles on the map that are like hotspots. And you want to avoid this as all at all costs. So what I would do... I would immediately hug the left and then hold W to the wall and then you can peek this way. Um, but hey, you got the skill. It's good. Oh, holy. All right. This this was a, uh, a... So this is what I mean. You want to avoid holding W around angles. <laughs> so then you don't run into something like this, dude. Holy smokes. Holy anime battle, dude. This We got we to gotta rewind this shit. You're probably staring at the map. Hold on, we gotta go in slow mo. One sec. This shit was a battle of the gods. Look at this. Boom, bang, 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 boom, bang, bang. Dodging bullets left, right. Ooh, bob and weave, bob and weave. Look at that. Little kneecap. All right. You got the kill. At the end of the day, that's what matters. Not the slow mo. <laughs> hey, hey, you got the kill. You got the kill. That's what matters. You have a very good timing. Whoop! Well, you did. So, you do have a good timing, but the one reason I don't like this is because you're playing Sage. If you're playing, you have to be a little bit more passive when you're, especially with your ult, so. So here, bait. I'd bait the Phoenix. Bait the Phoenix, bait the Phoenix. Let him be first point of contact, you know? You gotta bait more. A little bit more passive when you have that Sage ult. Also, let me see this rotation. What happens here? How did your teammates die? You have two people on site. No one gets a kill? Oh, okay. Reyna did, but they sage rezzed. I see. Brim griefed. He needs to play retake. He's already fucked. He ulted. Too late. You are popping off, though. You have 10 kills. So, here, you want to look for rezzes, right? Look at this. Look at what just happened here. You want to look for... I fucking suck, bro. And, and, and you know... Basically, just bait. You want to be baiting. Let this Phoenix be the first point of contact and mm. trade him. Now you just you, you go back spawn. You res this brim. Um, even if it is a three v five, but you can make things work. That was an important round, and you could be farming up orbs right now, right? 
So you could always experiment with the walls too. You could also wall uh, garage. I see people wall off garage a lot, and it's pretty good to do. Especially knowing that they can't, like, if they're not going B, you know? Your brim's AFK. Disconnected. You can double up with Arena here. Looks like they're going C, though. I think you rotate, yeah. Okay, you got a res. Hey, you got a kill. You got a trade. Good stuff. The res didn't go for... For nothing. That's a free kill. Okay. It's unfortunate though, you're kinda low. Yeah, so it's holding W around corners. That's the big thing. Probably garage now. Back sight. Nice. You don't have it. It's unlucky. Yeah, nice try though. Yeah, your aim is sturdy. I think it's the movement right now. I think that's the movement is the main issue. Well hell, 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 hell. Oh, I would have self healed. Reyna has full heal. I don't know. Like, okay, this I like this. I like the way you're positioned for these trades. This is good. Uh, Do you have heal? Okay, okay, so this wall should go like this. Yeah, you want to cut as much space as possible. This wall is way better. Good trade. Okay, good trade. Nice kill. That's the right idea, right? You see how you just traded off of them? This is how you want to be playing. You want to be ready to just push up with them, swing them, trade them. Yeah, bait this Phoenix ult hella hard. There we go. You're in a good spot now. Yeah, I like the way that you're 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 pushing into sites now. Okay, so this wall again. Give them you, you want to avoid all space. So I don't really like the CT wall because it breaks instantly because there's usually someone here. I would rather uh, you wall off. Uh, garage and it, it you know if they swing here you're kind of exposed I know Phoenix is holding it but yeah you guys are in good spots you have res now you think you res here yep secure the round you guys are up numbers 4v2 look how aggressive you're getting little aggressive here you're up numbers when you are up numbers you play passive and when you are down numbers you play aggressive. So here you want to play off of your team. You want to play off contacts. You want to play off of each other. Uh, and this is a 1v1. You want to avoid 1v1s because now they have a way back into the rounds. You know what I mean? So something to note. Yeah, so only a couple things here. When you are doing this, make sure that you're not exposed. This this was a timing born to happen, right? If they decided to peek here, uh, they kill you, right? So make sure when you're in your animations, you can angle the wall so you wall it this way without actually having to peek this angle. Uh, overall, this wall is good because I have to break multiple layers to push. However, there's a gap. Um, but if you have long control, then I like it. So. Right close, close. Oh, you're just entry fragging. Yeah, she's more off right now. You're kind of popping off. Actual battle stage. All right, that's a good wall. Yeah, that wall's a way better. You trade this? Yeah. Good try. Good try. That was a good try. That was a good try. You were positioning yourself in ways that you could get those trade kills. So I actually I like the way that you played this round. I think a little bit. I think the main thing to focus on is movement. So yeah. far, movements uh, and peaks. Oh. So. I don't, I don't think you peek this. I think you just immediately run to your teammates and try and go for the reses. So, the main thing though is just holding W around this corner also. I don't know, I didn't really like that. But, always try and maximize your reses, right? Let me see what happens here. So, this res was good. You want to play around your res. I would have res, like, even before this situation. Or, not res, I'm sorry, healed. Like, now. So I think it's the way that you're like clearing. I think it's the, is it crosshair placement? I'm not sure. Pure skill. There's something Pure something weirds going on. Sorry, I've room it. Uh, okay. So I like the wall on garage a little bit more, but it gets the job done. 
Good slow. Give heal. Everyone's full HP, I think. Oh, you can just look at the top. I never looked at the top for health bars. Oh, like I just. <laughs> I think there's a, a multiple people here. KJ's set up B. KJ's set up B? Okay, and Jet's B? Ooh, you guys go here, Jet's you flash through. Jet's there too. Alright, come on, Phoenix, go, go, go. Flash through, flash right, through. 30 seconds, I think we gotta push it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh